is no crisis in Scottish policing, the Holyrood Justice Minister has said following a string of high-profile suspensions from the National Force. In a statement to the Holyrood Chamber, on Wednesday, Michael Matheson said, Our ongoing scrutiny of Police Scotland has consistently shown that police officers and police staff at all levels remain committed to delivering policing into our communities that I believe is the match of policing anywhere in the world. The assurances follow a turbulent few weeks for the force, which has seen four officers, including an assistant chief constable, suspended as part of a criminal inquiry, while the chief constable remains on special leave pending the investigation of a string of misconduct allegations against him. Scotland's police watchdog, the Police Investigations and Review Commissioner PIRC is currently looking into three allegations of bullying against the chief constable of Scotland, Phil Gormley. Gormley has denied all the allegations against him and said he intends to resume his duties in the future. Meanwhile, the acting chief constable, Ian Livingston, has brought in two temporary assistant chief constables following the suspension of Bernard Higgins, an assistant chief constable, and three others amid allegations of using the force firing range for unauthorized purposes. Rejecting suggestions of a leadership crisis, Matheson said, it's clear to me that there's a very robust and resilient team at the top of Police Scotland. The minister was accused of complacency by Scottish Labour's justice spokesperson, Claire Baker. She said, this has been a bad year for leadership and governance at Police Scotland and the Scottish Police Authority, full of suspensions, resignations and early exits. The SPA lost its chairman and chief executive in the summer after a series of rows over their management style. Baker added, many are wondering what is going on in our police force when the chief constable has been granted special leave while other officers, who have dedicated their whole careers to policing in Scotland, are receiving suspensions. Matheson argued that recent events should not be used to question the performance of the unified force, formed by the merger of eight regional forces in 2013, stating that recorded crime was at a 43-year low and public confidence in the force remained strong. Callum Steele, the General Secretary of the Scottish Police Federation, accepted that morale across policing was not good, but said it would be a mistake to draw parallels between this and the ongoing investigations into senior officers. Of course our officers have an important role to play in the service, but the vast majority of police officers don't concern themselves with this and their day-to-day -day activities are not changing, he said. Morale relates to resources, finance and capacity, when buildings, vehicles, equipment, even uniforms are under considerable stress.